Welcome everybody. Today we're going to be talking about tools. Tools are a mainstay of commercial photographers uh, all over the world, all over the country, all over the state, and I think I did that backwards, but you get the drift, I'm sure. Tools are uh, anything really that's 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 created uh, to, to help something else be created. So everything from a lowly screwdriver to a, a chainsaw, uh, to um, even, uh, you know, car parts and wrenches, etc. They're all tools. We're going to look at some tools by the uh, Project 52 uh, members, or uh, <coughs> I guess they would call them members. Folks who are in Project 52 have gone through it. And I think you're going to like these. Let's start off with uh, Ann Stevenson's here. A really nice shot of... Uh, this unit, and I'm not really sure what it is. I think it's a a, a blow a blower to do, uh, you know, leaves and stuff. I think that's what it is, uh, but it's really really nicely done. Notice how Anne has highlights up this very kind of boring shaft here. This this tube, it's kind of boring. But look what she did. She added some highlights in here. She got a little blue here. We've got blue background, so she uh, had the idea to reflect a little blue into here. We've got some nice highlights in here. The lighting is uh, more complex than you think it might be for this. Let's take a look how she did it. And there we go. So, uh, yep, I was right, a battery powered leaf blower. Uh, looks a lot better than my battery powered leaf blower, but uh, that's a really nice one. So we've got the big soft box up here, big soft box back here, fill cards for in here. And she's using a little uh, grid uh, to, to shine into this area here. I think the grid has the blue gel. So that's what's giving us that little highlight that we saw there. And she's driving it back into the, into the unit just to get a little bit of a, uh, a color to it. And notice the white fill card is underneath the blower. She put it up on a, on a black she mounted it here she just took all this out in phone in uh, photoshop and let it float adding the blue background really nicely done shot by ann stevenson and you can see the little light coming right down the shaft from the uh, uh speed light with the grid on it go back and look at the lighting see how she did that very nice very nice john McAllister shot a drill uh drills are very popular uh items when we do this uh, course uh, and uh, drill uh, John found this very interesting drill out of the the, uh, the background is all controlled through Photoshop and a careful selection of background which you'll see in just a second but look at the light all the way through here everything is lit nothing is left to chance nothing goes too dark nothing gets hidden in the background beautiful highlights here we see we see the the very shiny um, material that it's made out of here. Got a little tooth in here. This is a little bit more matte. Uh, we all know what this feels like and looks like because the lighting is reminding us. <clears throat> Pretty interesting piece of paper that's got a lot of tooth in it. And John simply hung the uh, drill, brought his cameras, uh, cameras in close, and lit it. So we've got... Uh, two boxes here and two uh, hard lights here that are just in the feather. The, the sub, you notice how they're, they're not aiming at the subject. They're aiming past the subject. And that is giving us uh, a whole different feel to it. Let's go back and look here. Getting that nice shine through here. Just getting a little poppiness off those edges of that light. Here's our main lights back here. Of course, our white fill card to the bottom, which is keeping all of this alive in here. Really nicely done, John McAllister over in the UK. We got another John McAllister shot, this time of a, a, a radial saw. And you can see what he's done in Photoshop, made a very, very interesting uh, final image for a possible client this way. Uh, ripping right through the background. The saw looks great beautifully lit all the way through just can't really get any better than that it really looks good even the inside of this 
handle over here has enough light and a highlight right there to give it dimension. See the highlight on the front there? All kinds of dimension all the way through. John left nothing um, un, uh, uh, untouched here. He knew exactly what he wanted to get out of the shot and he brought in the lights to do it. Here's our lighting. Uh, boxes brought way in and a box back out here to add some ambient fill uh, for every, for the whole thing. So uh, really three soft boxes and an ambient fill. You go back there and you can see just how beautiful that is. The background of course added in in uh, post. What a great shot. Carla Monahan did this beautiful photograph. Uh, or, I'm sorry, Carla McMahon, not Monaghan, Carla McMahon, down in South, Af South Africa, did this beautiful, look at that great highlight across the top. All the details are here, all the way through. It is a beautifully, lovely done shot. I love the little drop shadow. It makes it, it gives you kind of a, a, a different way of looking at it. You know, we've got a little drop shadow to the front, and yet it looks like it's sitting up. So uh, it's, uh, it's really well, clever, cleverly done. Notice the highlights here and the highlights there and the highlight there. Nothing is left to chance. Nothing just fades into the background. Everything is done beautifully, including the label. Here's Carla's setup. She shot it against gray. Uh, put a little scrim over the top. Takes an 8200 through the to top. Got a uh, scrim with a strobe here and a, a, a strip box on this side. And you can see the original shot right down here. That's what she shot. And she pulled it off and in uh, post rebuilt the uh, background. There's something you'll probably have to do a lot. Now, Graham did not have to do that with his shot. He uh, chose an old, old piece of uh, a slate uh, and put his, his uh, tools on there. Look how beautifully lit these tools are. Really, really nice stuff. You know, we get the we, we, we see the shape of the chisels. We see the shape of the the handles. We got all the little details here with the highlights showing us off these little uh, you know designer effects. The chisels look bright and shiny against this old material. The the chisel hammer looks great beautifully lit highlights everywhere it's just a really nice nicely done shot let's check how graham did it got a light from one side a light from another side and a big uh, and a big light from this side so he's got three lights going here light from the front is not as powerful as the two lights from the side and the light that's in front uh, Lois down here is brighter than the one in the back. Do you see that? It's a brighter highlight than that. This is a brighter highlight than that. So con careful control of your highlights. You can have highlights on both sides of it, but if you control them, it helps gives you, give you more depth and uh, interest in the image. Graham Kite in Australia. Siobhan Hoyt did this great little, I think it's a sander. Great little sander shot, whatever. I believe it is a sander. She got the wood up in here so we can see that it's a wood tool. Everything on it, she, she brought it forward. We can see the level. We've got all the bells and whistles on this thing. It's sitting on the wood itself, and it's, and it's cleverly shot up. By, by shooting up on it, we get more details of this sander than if we just uh, uh, you know shot straight across at it. By shooting up, we get to see some very nice uh, detail work under here and here. Notice Siobhan's lighting. We've got a highlight here and a highlight here and a highlight to the back. That backlight just giving us that edge really pops it off the background. You may not even see those backlights sometimes. You just feel that they're there. And look how it pulls it off the background. Just really, really nice stuff just a little bit of a, ba of a background light and you've got it. So she's using a, a soft box, another soft box, and a fill card. And she's got a speed light with a grid just behind the camera at 164th power. I don't remember what the grid did. I am so sorry. I'm trying to remember what the grid is doing here. Oh, I know what it's doing. It's keeping the shadow uh, off the front here. 
the grid is, is coming down on this uh, this area right here and, uh, and keeping it lit up right in there. There we go. I remember now. So uh, it's beautiful, beautiful shots. We got Siobhan Hoyt and we've got Graham Kite. We've got Carla McMahon, John McAllister, John McAllister, and Ann Stevenson. Products, heavy commercial products. You'll have to shoot them. Get interested in uh, in it and make some shots. If you do something, stick it on the wall here and uh, tell me to go look at it. I'll go look at it. Absolutely. If you like what I'm doing here, please, please hit the uh, subscribe button. Uh, I don't care about the bell. I don't want to bug you with the bell. But if you hit the subscribe button, you get to see stuff first. And we're we're doing more and more on on uh, Photoshop and photography and lighting and everything else. We're doing more and more. Uh, I hope you enjoy what I'm doing. Have a great one. I'll see you next time.